Dear viewers, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, Jeremiah Kioni in that Busia rally decided to put this issue of Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega to rest and going forward, I am foreseeing a scenario where now they will be kicked out. But the issue is not even kicking out the two legislatures. Jeremiah Kioni said something very, very important. And I think this is why, this is what so many Kenyans uh, normally do. Ile issue asante apunda ni mateke. Jeremiah Kioni said that tangu Sabina Chege na kanini kega wa wadogo, uhuru wa mekua kiwa support financially. Hello! Nimeona wa Judas wekine kure na kuru wa kusema kwamba ati jubili na yada Kenya kuja. Iyo sahao Aro Tena wale ambao wameamua Kama wanu wanaume Wale ambao wameamua Kwenda uda Waende Warudi kwa wanaiji Watafte Kura Lakini hii Mambo ya watu kukufanya watu wajinga Na umeenda pale Umepatiwa chiringi Elfu wa msini Lepte rao za njiri Watu wamesaidiwa na uhuru tagu utotoni ya kina kanini kega na sabina chege Na leo diyo hawa wame musariti Hawa diyo hawa wame ufaya nini? Wame musariti That means they are in politics courtesy of uhuru mgea kenyata's health But how do they repay him? Wana musariti Well it is not only uh, Kanini Kega and Sabina Chega, but a host of so many politicians have received help from Raila Molodinga <coughs> na badaya waka msaliti. So Sabina Chega na Kanini Kega saizi haundu wa saliti wakubwa kabisa katika zimio ni Kenya Land. Na inasemekana kwamba ata ile post ambao Sabina Chega lipewa ile ya minority, ile, ile whip ile. Ni kama atapokonyo kwa sababu gani it was given to an azimio fela. I remember in 2017 when Wetangula decided to go against Raila Molodinga, he was de-whipped as the minor he was a minority leader, but he got de-whipped. Our first single scenario by now, Sabina Chege will be de-whipped. Can Jeremiah Kioni in this video that I'm sharing has made it categorical that they are the legitimate members of Jubilee. Uh, in the procedures, procedure as is provided for, I want to invite you to read the letter clearly. I see some of you in the media have also lost, missed the point. Uh, yes, the, the registrar acknowledges he has received the documents. We will uh, be able to demonstrate to her that those documents are not properly before her. The convening of the meeting was not properly done and all those other things. But you also need in the same letter that she actually cautions those people who took the documents there that can you also exhaust the party mechanism. Yes. So she has received, like you'll be given and you receive, but you have also pointed out clearly you are not within the provisions of your own constitution. So we will be able to uh, perhaps uh, show them how we need uh, to go uh, through some of those things. Nani vizuri to say Na tuseme hii kwa kiruga hii ya bae watu wanaelewa. Wewe weka, weka kituwa kwa fikiri yako. Ati unasema unatoa jubili kwa azimio. Unapereka kwa Kenya Kwanza. Ama Kenya. Kumisita. Whatever it is that they call themselves. They are living up to the. To the... So Jeremiah Kioni has put that matter to rest. And I think uh, these two should just be kicked out. I mean if party loyalism is one thing that is very very important for success of a party. But if a party member does exactly what Sabina Chege is doing, then that party member should just be kicked out. And I know uh, Sabina Chege has been nominated, was nominated, and I think she should just forfeit that position also. But because Amazon Jeff Akingi is pro Kenya Kwanza, he will not he will not rule in in Azimio and Kenya Land's favor. So we don't expect uh, that to happen. But the legitimate members of uh, Jubilee Alliance have spoken, and their word has to be listened. 
And Jeremiah Kion is saying that come Tuesday, from that rally, come Tuesday, they are going to start the process of the whipping Sabina Chege. So personally, I think that would be the right move because kama wewe ni watermelon, kama wewe una exhibit ile walikuwa naita kwamba political uh, prostitutes, then I think the best thing that should be done is that you just quit. Quit and join Uda. That is one thing that Sabina Chege should do. Quit, join Uda. Because she was nominated courtesy of Azimio. And that's why I, I said in my previous analysis that these two people could have been spies. They could have been moles within, moles who were planted within Azimio. They were planted within Azimio to expose Azimio's secrets to the Kenya Kwanza. Because how else would you say that at the presidential candidate Doka Mekosa, that's a way we talk about how else would you justify that? The only explanation to that is that Sabina Chege had an hidden, a hidden agenda. He, she had a hidden agenda, and that's what she executed soon after Tebukati made uh, that unfair declaration. That's when she uh, execu uh, exposed her true colors. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly short opinions are below the comment section. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.